Guys, our journey into Islands of Adventure will start with a trip through King's Cross, King's Road. What the hell is this place called? Social distancing is in full effect, although it's not much of an issue today. I was at Universal to start off and, you know, it wasn't that bad. Uh, crowd level was pretty low. The, <laughs> the worst crowds I saw all day were at ET. And that's only because they were slowing the crowds down, which is fine. It gives them a chance to clean everything up. But here we are, we're heading off into islands to make a little magic. I didn't plan that. Just run with it, Bob. You know what the weird thing is? Sometimes there are the six foot stickers. Sometimes there isn't. So it's a big guessing game. Is that six foot? Well, I, I decided to stop like halfway in between the two because I'm clearly six feet away. This is one of the things about being quarantined um, or uh, going through this. Uh, I'm not quarantined. I'd be at home if I was quarantined. Oh, it got so dark in here when they closed those, the outer exterior doors. Welcome passengers. As Hi. a reminder, you are under active surveillance. For your safety yeah. and for the safety of the guests who will be traveling after you, please keep your mask on and remain seated for so, your entire journey. Thank you. Keep Have a great on. day. So that's interesting that they tell you that you're under surveillance, I guess. <laughs> I guess by law they have to, well no in the state of florida it's uh you have to notify them if you're recording audio video <laughs> the people walking by it's 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 wild oh yeah if you haven't noticed it's just me in here i'm all alone <laughs> I've really got a lot of distractions on both sides, so I'm going to try and just talk to you. Uh, I've been at Isla, uh, Universal, and uh, I feel really good about the situation right now. Everywhere I've gone, I've had, I've had uh, like hand sanitizer provided for me. I, okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. That was brilliant. So now I'm off to islands. The problem is I got on the Hogwarts Express line at uh, 3 o'clock. It's now 3.45, almost 10 minutes to 4. So I, okay. <laughs> so I spent a lot of time in line. Uh, that's just because of how they're spacing everybody out. That's why I'm in a car all by myself, uh, a room all by myself. You can't help but not watch some of these things. I, it, it was weird when I got it online on my phone. <laughs> I can never tell if it's real people walking. When I got it on my phone, there was only three rides available, and it was three rides I wasn't really interested in, so I didn't bother. I've been walking up to everything today, and in most cases, just walking straight in. I think that's just because of the times, and I'm not sure. I think Universal's going at uh, like at a, uh, a like half capacity or something. So I got in. There wasn't. No, I've I've had so much shoulder space today. But guys, it looks like I am arriving at Hogwarts, and let's walk around Hogsmeade a little bit before we go off and do the other stuff on Islands of Adventure. All right, I think I found the first major flaw of the system. This line of people is for the virtual queue for uh, Hagrid's. The issue is the exit for the Hogwarts Express has to go around the line, and in order to get in, they've got to go through the line to get into Hogsmeade. That's probably the first flaw I found. Ah, oh, Hogwarts. Beautiful architecture. And look over here. The this is totally not a Jurassic Park ride. It's coming to flourishing. And it looks like it's going to be pretty cool once it opens. Maybe if they ever redo this archway, they won't actually use real flame. 
I mean, that just seemed like a bad idea, didn't it? Don't don't look at the the scrim. Hmm. Look at this concrete in front of the castle. Yeah, right now we're going through that Florida temperature where it doesn't know if it wants to rain or melt your face off. All right, now if you were to ask me why I like Kong, but I can't stand Fast and Furious, I can't give you a real answer. But we're gonna do this. <laughs> I gotta use the camera to see where I'm going because my eyes have not adjusted for being outside. And the camera sees better than I can. Oh my God, I can't. Okay. <laughs> I can't see the floor. I couldn't see the bars. I thought I was about to walk into something. Uh, this one. Maybe it's a little too dark in here. Okay. Uh, nope. Okay. I couldn't see that rope there. No? Nope. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, Universal, maybe. No, you don't make your queue line so freaking dark unless you have attendants standing in those areas. We're fending for ourselves out here. I, again, I can't see a thing. Of course, by the time I find my phone and get my light out, I'll be in an area where I can see fine. Like here, I can see fine here. For a moment while I was in there, not recording, the video froze. <laughs> that was weird. Everything just eh, it, froze, it just came to a halt. All right, this is interesting. Kong had a virtual line QR code for you to get a uh, get a spot, but the sign was turned around. So I guess the day changes on what rides are available or not. All right, Toon Lagoon. Don't think I'm going to be doing anything in here. But you never know. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to stay away from anything that's water ride at the moment. I'm, I'm just going to be careful with that one. I'm not 100% sure that the uh, virus can't be spread through water. Even though this, I can, wow, I can smell the bromine or the chlorine or whatever. I can smell it. It's really strong. Hey, Popeye, how you doing? That's Sweet Haven. Let's check out Sweet Haven. Let's just take a look around because this actually... Last year when Corey and I were here, the whole area was walled off. I don't, I want to do, this is my favorite of the log flume rides, I forget what you call them. But that one's my favorite. What the? <gasps> is Wimpy's open? I've never seen this before. I have never seen Wimpy's open before. Oh my God. Man, I am so disappointed. So I checked out uh, the uh, order online and Wimpy's isn't on there. So you, you saw the electric menus where they were on. Uh, I don't know what the deal was. I guess it's another day I don't get to try Wimpy's. I don't know if it's even worth trying. I really have no idea. Is it me or does the mom from Family Circus have a Karen haircut? She would like to speak with the manager. Mary, I hope you're watching this because I'm getting a lot of really good praise for this mask. Thank you so much. Um, I've also noticed that, you know, you say a lot by just smiling at somebody. Maybe elephant walk. Anyway, uh, I, and you know, usually when I pass somebody, I give them a thumbs up or I just smile at them. But you, obviously you can't see a smile. So what I've been doing, hi, how you doing? Just, you know, you say almost as much with a wave. So I've been doing a lot of waving today. So right next to Stark Enterprises is Spider-Man. And there is a five minute wait. So it's basically a walk on. It's, uh, it's another cute line with absolutely nobody in front of you. Yeah. All right. You know, Spider-Man is cool and all. I love it. Um, I need something a little 
a little slower pace, something that's not gonna throw me around a lot. How about a little cat in the hat? And just like Spider-Man, looks like another walk-on. The sun did not shine. It was, I wasn't done waiting that. <sighs> oh, I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we too. And I said how I wish we had nothing to do. I need to read it before it went away. There was a row of cars behind me. Look at me, look at me. There's I'm no the one behind me, there's no one in front of me. I'm, on the top of it's my likely hat. I'm the only one in this entire attraction Ooh. right now. I didn't see anybody else coming in. I didn't see. I haven't seen anybody else coming out. Just me. No, that's gonna clog your septic. So will that, with all that loose hair. That, oh my god! Don't take mushrooms right before you're getting on this ride. Yeah. Yeah. This. This, this is what I was looking for. Nice and calm and soothing. Well, what would you do if your mother I would drink heavily. You? That's what I would do. You know what's disgusting? I'm pretty sure I had a hat. The same colors and the same material back in the 90s. I'm pretty sure I had this. And they want it. It's $28. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this short little trip to islands uh didn't get there with a lot of time left in the day but hey i had fun uh i spent like over a hundred dollars worth of merch i'll show that off one day and there's one more thing i've never done before my doctor's gonna kill me if he finds out i've been in there but i gotta do it just once that's a little overwhelming i have no idea they really need like a checklist like you get at a sushi restaurant is there is so much to choose from. Ooh, the little pink looks good. Look at this. This is overwhelming. Luckily, luckily, they have like a half dozen selection where it, they're pre-picks. And I think that's it over there. Back in the car. Uh, I, I've got to take that off. Whew. Guys, I'll tell you what. Universal's doing it right. I hardly saw any any problems, any issues whatsoever in there. That was Universal. That was Islands of Adventure, I should say. So there's my box of half dozen Voodoo Donuts with a Voodoo guy around the top there and a couple others. Oh man, the smell of chocolate in here. But that's gonna do it. Guys, thank you for joining me on this breakdown. Uh, I'm not sure how much I really broke down, but meh. Again, guys, thanks for joining me. Go ahead, like, subscribe. You know the whole deal. I hope you join me again. Um, I'm going to be doing some more stuff around the Orlando area. Mm, another theme park maybe here and there, but more local stuff as well. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. And this was the greatest vacation ever. We'll never speak of it again. <laughs>